If there's one thing that I absolutely love to start my day, it's unboxing a new animal and uh, playing with its knife. What do you say we open this thing up? And I gotta be honest with you, this is gonna be a trip. Maybe one of the weirdest snakes that you'll ever see me unbox. Well, I shouldn't say that because I unbox so many weird snakes. But nevertheless, I was excited about this because I used to have one of these, but unfortunately, uh, it's no longer around. And now I get a new one. So a friend of mine reached out to me and said, hey, listen, I've got this cool snake. Do you want it? And I thought, oh my God, this will be so cool at the Reptarium because it's such a freaky snake. It is so weird looking. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I am talking about. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh my God, they are so weird and they're so cool. You guys know that I love scaleless snakes, but there's something weird about this little guy right here, which of course is a white scaleless snake. This is actually a leucistic Texas rat snake. And I don't know why, but when you take away the color on a scaleless snake, it looks all wrinkly and kind of alien-like. I mean, look at the face right there and how goofy it looks. And again, you see all the wrinkles. It almost looks like a giant white worm or something like that. Absolutely incredible, it's super cool. And a lot of our females are actually het for leucistic as well when it comes to the scaleless Texas rat snake. So this guy could eventually even breed some animals so we could produce some more leucistic scaleless Texas rat snake. So essentially the leucistic part, the white part, which the root word is leuco, which is actually white. And of course the scaleless is recessive as well. So we have a white scaleless Texas rat snake. And I'm telling you what, it doesn't get any more bizarre than that. In a way it's creepy and in a way it's absolutely awesome. I don't know, I, it is one of those things where it's a face that only a mother would love. And I tell you what, I love this thing. There is no doubt about it. It is a beauty. Again, you can almost see its ribs and wow, it's just so cool. I love this guy. So I'm super excited to be able to get this guy in the collection. Absolutely wonderful. It's gonna look cool and people are gonna love him here at the Reptarium. And oh, by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. And what do you say? We go show lore. All right, look what I got. Is this thing cool or what? Of course, like I said, we used to have a male scaleless Texas rat, but it's been a long time. Isn't this thing cool? Do you yeah. like it? So how did we get him? So we actually, uh, it's long story. A guy knew from another guy and his cousin. It, it doesn't matter, it's cool, right? <laughs> uh, you drive me crazy. I know, but you, are you gonna breed it or are you gonna, we're gonna just put it at it the reptarium or both? It is a boy, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can actually use him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. So maybe at the Reptarium a little bit and then breeding during the breeding season, something like that? Because I do think this will be really cool at the Reptarium. People will freak out about it because it's so alien looking, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously scaleless snakes are absolutely weird, right? Because obviously the scales are their armor. So these guys wouldn't really perform well in the wild, obviously, because they have no protection against anything. But in captivity, scaleless rat snakes and scaleless corn snakes in particular are completely fine. And there is a recessive mutation that's lacking the keratin that makes up scales, making this unusual kind of cool pattern. And the interesting thing like this animal that's super red, if this had scales, believe it or not, it would be a gray animal. And the red would just be underneath. Whoa, did you see that? That was a close call right there. He came right up at my face. And the fact is, is that rat snakes can be a little bit cantankerous at times, but absolutely wonderful. I mean, just look at how beautiful this one is. And you can certainly see the polymorphism within the actual scaleless rat snakes. And polymorphism is just a fancy word for variability, right? You know, difference in color and texture. There's yellow ones, there's orange ones, there's red ones, there's all kinds of different colors. This one has a lot of white in its side, which makes it really unique as well. And again, Texas rat snakes and corn snakes in particular do really well in captivity. We don't keep them different at all. I mean, exactly like any other snake. They shed perfectly fine. Everything goes completely good. So it's really cool to be adding that leucistic scaleless Texas rat back into the colony. It's going to be cool to produce those in the future. Ooh. I got some chicken legs here. Uh, oh, the old Jay Bonesker. I don't know why I call him that. He gave me some uh, chicken legs over there and uh, I decided not to eat them. I'm going to give them to the Elvis, okay? You didn't give me any tongs. Oh, no, nope. you're just gonna hand feed them. I guess I'm just gonna hand feed Elvis these chicken legs. Oh, he's turning on. Come on. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at him taking it down. Stretching these legs, dude. <laughs> oh, that's one for the time. Oh! Woohoo! 
Nothing like feeding your big old lizard outside. Can we just stop and think about this? Got all the ball pythons separated out for a little break and we're gonna feed the females later on today. And like I mentioned earlier, the scaleless corn snakes are even crazier than scaleless Texas rats. The one thing's nice is that they're really kind of tame. You know, corn snakes are really tame, but also there's a lot more coloration or mutations in corn snakes than there are Texas rat snakes. Like this reverse Oka T scaleless corn snake. I mean, look at the color and pattern in this monkey. Ooh, doggy, take a look at this monkey right here. This is a scaleless, Silver Queen, which is a hypo aneurysmic, beautiful, beautiful snake right there. I mean, this thing is crazy. This is a little boy. He's breeding some things this year. I tell you, that is my favorite of all of the scaleless. Whenever you get into the aneurysmic or the ghost ones, are just, I mean, they're just so absolutely stunning. Look at that thing. Yeah, I've been doing this a long, long time, 30 something years, and I still get nervous. This is the second clutch that's gonna be laid any day now. Now, remember, the first clutch was a pinhead pie bred to the same male, and it was basically a bad clutch. There was a couple kind of so so eggs that might make it. And to be honest with you, this pie girl has been ready to go and I thought she looked great then the last few days I've been nervous like oh she's gonna slug out and then I literally pelped her a little bit earlier and I could feel it looks like good eggs again but my point is is that no matter how long you've been doing it I'm still nervous you know I'm still nervous for my second clutch to be good right because I don't want to start the year off with two bad clutches so with any luck this girl will be the first girl that lays a good clutch of eggs I think she's gonna be okay I'm not 100% sure but like I said even after all these years I still get nervous Missing the cat. By who? I'm going, just a detailer. What is that? Not okay. He's using you, company you, power you, to do you, it. I know. I'm like, who the hell is out here? <laughs> to be Could you imagine it was a random I, person? That's what I was like. That's why I'm like, what is going on here? Why don't you get my car detailed? I can get my your car, detail. car smells like ass. Uh, Joey literally peed in my car. Peed. Okay. Well, yeah. It's, well, my mine has spilled protein. So. I have grown man pee all over my back seat. <laughs> have you ever had dirty, nasty, yep. hot protein? And there was mold growing in the cup holders. From the pee? I don't know what it was from this week. <laughs> 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 all right, pay to get mine done too. Okay, I got it. This one here is actually a new mutation that my buddy Forrest actually had kind of worked with, and it's called a tiger scaleless. Just again, kind of looks like a tiger, right? You know, and uh, it is genetic. We're able to actually reproduce this last year for the very first time and prove it out to be its own actual line, which is pretty exciting. And you can see absolutely stunning animals. And just like Forrest named it a tiger, I couldn't agree more. I absolutely love this one. This is actually a blood red or what they would call a diffused scaleless corn snake. Just wow, look at the pattern on the back there kind of that translucence just really cool kind of you know patternless size I mean just absolute ripper but like I mentioned scaleless animals actually can work really well when it comes to rat snakes and corn snakes in particular it's absolutely amazing and some of the colors and patterns on them who doggy I mean it's cool but you gotta admit that leucistic scaleless Texas rat that thing looks like it came from Mars or something like that that is one alien looking snake take a look at flapjack here of course the black throated monitor is still a hyper little monkey right here we're trying to get him to calm down a little bit stay right here buddy you're okay and he just has to gain confidence the other day literally I actually saw a picture of a giant black throated monitor that was absolutely huge I mean literally bigger than Elvis and I know that this guy is just like just like Diddy and Dixie when they're young they're just a little bit more keyed up right they're a little bit of afraid of everything and I don't want to get bit because again I've had a bad reaction to a bite whoa that was a close one right there and so I'm just kind of trying to get him to where he becomes a little bit more confident and a little less crazy but you can definitely see he's ready to bite every step of the way. I don't want that to happen, buddy. We're supposed to be friends, right? We're gonna be friends soon. But I'm telling you what, I know that when he gets older, he's gonna be an absolutely amazing animal ambassador. Now I know I'm gonna be able to hold him over my shoulders like a little baby. Right now, he is definitely a little feisty monkey. What is wrong with you, buddy? I promise everything's gonna be okay. And he's going through a shed cycle right now, which means he's growing. I mean, this thing was this big when we got him, and look at how big he's getting now. But boy, I tell you what, that big attitude goes along with that little body. There's no doubt about that. Who doggy? I tell you, what, that's a beautiful animal, though, isn't it? Got a major coup. Oh, let me do that again. <laughs> got a bunch of cool stuff from the pedo box. You guys are always sending all kinds of <laughs> baby. Watch out here, buddy. You know, you know what's interesting? It's like all these boxes are like really light. They just have air in them. Oh, wait a second. This has got a cool something cool. Oh, oh, 
Look at that, it's a cute sloth. It's a three-toed sloth. But that's a good one, that one's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's a cutie, look at this sloth. It's a, let's see, what's his name? Spark Creative Magings plushie toy. This first off, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for the hobby. Been watching you loyally for two years, and me and my daughter watch you every day. Well, thank you. So, so that's awesome. Well, thank you to you and your daughter. Yes, I don't know if you have a sticker collection, but I gave you one of mine. So there you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's absolutely <laughs> adorable. I'm still always blown away when piebalds have really cool smiley emojis on them. And this is just an absolutely incredible smiley emoji pie. I love it. That is, thing is so cool. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor right over on this side you can hit the playlist if you don't mind watch a couple videos on this side right over here you can subscribe to this channel turn your post notifications on have a wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow